Will it blend? EcoFlow Power Kit Edition. So this is the Vitamix right here. And if you look over here, we have the full-blown Eco flow power kit this one is a 15 kilowatt hour power kit each of these battery is 5 kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate with auto heating elements inside so that it works great in cold temperature as well as hot temperature it's auto regulating pretty awesome batteries 15 kilowatt hour we have the EcoFlow power hub right here, which is a centralized brain. We're gonna connect the batteries to a power hub, and then we have the AC-DC distribution panel right here, and a console to monitor all the power usage in and out, and all the stats and all the stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and connect the batteries to this right now. So we're gonna do a test and see, will it blend? So here's battery one, two, and three. So we got our batteries right here. Boom, connect that one. Click, number one, number two. Battery number three. All right, so our three batteries are there. We're gonna close out our panel over here. So we haven't wired anything yet. We're just gonna close out the panel because once we wire this thing, it'll be great. You'll have six AC circuits and 12 DC circuits with circuit breakers and fuse and everything. But we're gonna keep it closed out for now because we're not wiring it yet today. And we're not gonna use the console either. We're just gonna use this unit right here. Now keep in mind, this is very important right here. Because we're not using the console and we're not using the AC distribution panel right now, it's very important that we plug the two communication port with these plugs included. Otherwise, we'll have some malfunction. So these are the CAN bus ports right here. We got two of them over here. Boom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this included plugs and this plug right here will terminate the communication so that way the system will be stabilized. When we actually install the whole system, we will connect one port to the console and one port to the AC distribution to monitor and display all the data. But for now, we're just gonna plug it up. We are actually ready to power on this unit. We're gonna go ahead and turn on the power unit right here and press power on the EcoFlow. Power it up, boom. And our batteries are powered up. We got 30% right there, 28% over here, and 29% over here. We're good. Everything looks good. We have the light right there. It's perfect. So now, we can go ahead and connect our blender to see if it will blend. So if we connect our blender right here to this port right there, go ahead and hit the AC button right there. There we go, now we have AC out. Now we're powering AC out. Now this thing has power, boom, it's on. All right, will it blend? Let's go try this out. Frozen fruit, oh yeah, let's go. We're gonna make a smoothie today. Will it blend? We are in our tiny home, our shed, and we're gonna power a blender. Our vitamins is on. We're gonna go to smoothie mode right there, and we're gonna start. Are you ready? Start your engine, three, Two, one. Whoa, 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 it's powerful. Guys, we are blending right now with the EcoFlow Power Kit right now. It's powering from this unit right there using these batteries. We are blending. Wow, it's so powerful. It's working. That's powerful. There we go, guys. Oh, that's smooth. Wow. Woo, to the top, to the top, to the top. Don't overflow, don't overflow. Oh, perfect. Does your boy know how to make a smoothie or what? Look at that. How good is our smoothie? Oh, that's good. Mm, delicious. Really good. Brain freeze. Ugh, brain freeze. Mm. This is a massive power system. We can monitor how much power we use for that blender once we connect it to the console or we can connect it to the app via Bluetooth or wireless network, and we'll be able to monitor the power of the loads, whether it's the six AC circuit load, whether it's the 12 DC circuit load, whether it's the input from each of the battery, whether it's the AC input, you can control the AC coming in at 15 amps or 30 amps. You can manage that. You can manage the solar input or the alternator input. You can do so much with this thing. Once we set this all up, we'll be able to monitor everything and see how much power this blender is using. And we're gonna put it to a test. We're gonna use this blender. We're gonna use a microwave. We're gonna use a refrigerator, a TV, a hair dryer, an AC, a heater, a bunch of power application, whether it's AC, whether it's DC. We're combine both and we'll push the system to a limit because this thing can effectively be a full-blown backup power system to a home or it can be used as a power source off-grid for RVs or tiny homes. This is a very capable system you can put together with just everything that comes in the box. We got all the components, all the wires that connect them together all come in a box. This is the EcoFlow 15 kilowatt independence kit with the AC-DC distribution smart panel with the console and the power hub. It's an incredible turnkey solution. All the parts are all designed to work together and it's very compact. This unit right here 
here. This thing has a bunch of electronics all packed into a small unit. If you were to build this by yourself, it would take a lot more space. Many, many, many units with wires all intermingled and all the craziness. So if you want a power solution that is easy to put together, EcoFlow Power Kit right here.